this is Miss Candy with Sew It and Show It Workshops. Thank you so much for joining in today. We are going to make a pillowcase. Now, this tutorial is for workshop number two. In the beginning of the workshop, we start off with a hand-sewn crafted item, and then we move on to a machine sewing item. So, in the workshops, once again, we do two projects, a hand-crafted one and a machine sewn one. This is project number two of the two projects and here's what we're going to need. We're going to need three coordinating fabrics, straight pins, a marking pin, now you can use chalk, you can use a pen, today I'm using a marker. You're going to need a yardstick, scissors. Today I am using a rotary cutter but I must stress, in my workshops kids will never use a rotary cutter because it's just too sharp and too dangerous. But because moms and dads make this project too, today I am using a rotary cutter. Okay, let's get started. We're using three coordinating fabrics. All of the fabrics will measure the same width across, but will vary in size in regards to length. So starting with the first border, when you open the fabric up, it will measure 43 inches wide, but the first border will measure five and an inches, five and a half inches long, okay? So 43 inches wide and five and a half inches long. The second border will measure the same 43 inches wide, but in regards to length, it measures a foot, 12 inches long. Now for the body of the fabric, I'm sorry, for the pillow, same, 43 inches wide, however, the length of this will be 24, 24 inches in length, okay? So once again, the body of the pillow, will be 40 in, 43 inches wide and 24 inches in length. Spread both borders open wide uh, to that 43 inch mark and then you want to fold in place. And what you can use is your straight pins to hold your fold. And I'm just going to put a few here. And then you want to do the same to your smaller border. Just fold. And just use your pens to hold that fold in place. And now what I'm going to do next is take this to the ironing board and uh, press all of the wrinkles out. You see how nice and neat this looks? And I also took the body of the fabric, of the pillow, excuse me, and I've also pressed that as well. So we all have nice pressed fabric. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is take your larger border and open it facing it right side up. And then you want to take your uh, body of your pillow And also place that right side up. And you want to lay that on top of your uh, larger border, salvage edge to salvage edge. And then take your border, your smaller border, and also salvage edge to salvage edge. And this is what you have here. You have your first border, in this case it's the multi-stripe color border and then you have the body of the pillow and then you have the third 
or uh, the third coordinating fabric of the smaller border. And they're all on top of each other right side up. The next thing you want to do is take the body of your pillow and roll it. like so. Now, you don't want to roll it on top of all three fabrics that are sandwiched here. You want to stop maybe about an inch or two right before you get to the folded edge here. Then you want to take your um, base border, which is the larger border of the two, and you just want to fold it on top like so and pin it in place. And we're going to pin it all the way down here all the way down there and then we're going to take it to the sewing machine and just make a simple straight stitch. I wanted you to take a closer look. I have this whole thing all pinned and it almost looks like a little trunk. And now I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and just do a simple straight stitch all the way down. All right, so we've finished our straight stitch alongside this uh, trunk and you just want to reach in there and pull the fabric out at this point. Just pull it all out. So, so far, this is what you have. It's starting to look like a pillowcase, huh? And then you want to uh, fold. Now, you don't want to take that uh, salvage edge into place. I mean, I'm sorry, into consideration because we're going to be cutting that off. Yet, what you're going to do is pair up border to border, like so. And then pin in place and then see how that looks so far then you're going to take your yardstick And we're going to place the yardstick alongside that pin. And draw a line because this is going to be your guide for cutting that salvage edge. Actually, this, just make sure that is straight. I don't want a lopsided pillowcase. And then we're going to pin all the way on that line. And then at the bottom, right below the salvage edge, just draw a line. Make sure that it meets up. And then once again, we're going to pin alongside here alongside there and then once we take it to the sewing machine after we're, we have done putting the straight stitch in, in place we can then cut all this uh excess fabric off so let's start with getting those pins in Self. Now this is the part you have to be careful because you have so many pins exposed, they will be sticking you and pricking you if you're not careful. I have a magnetic uh, pin dish here, so as I pull them out, I'm going to place it in the pin dish. The one thing that I want to point out is that you don't want to ever sew over pins, so as you come approach a pin you want to slow your machine down stop it pull the pin out and place it in the dish and then continue 
generally the rule of thumb is if you are right-handed then you would place your pins facing this way so you can pull and put in the pin dish opposed to passing it the way that I'm Okay, so we are done with the sewing part. Let's go and cut these uh, salvage edges off and turn it right side out and we're all done. We did it. We made a pillowcase. Well, that's all for today. Thank you so much for joining in and a full list of supplies and this tutorial as well as others can be found at sewitandshowit.com. If you have any suggestions for tutorials or workshops, please send an email to candia at candiahainsworth.com. Until next time, I'll see you then.